Good morning, everyone. Good to see you here all this morning. Um, no matter if you're here in person or worshiping online, we thank you for being here and um, can't wait to start this fun day Sunday off. Um, just a warning, this is the splash zone as we are remembering our <laughs> baptisms this morning. Um, you view online, feel free to splash one another, get some water out there. Um, also, there's a QR code um, for our bulletins if you wish to view one of those. For the, those of you who are here, a um, reminder just to sign the pew pads so we have a record of you worshiping and taking uh, communion with us this morning. And then a question as we step into our worship this morning. If Jesus had a slogan, what do you think it would be? If Jesus used a slogan to be remembered by, what do you think it might be? Now I'll ask you to stand as you are willing and face the baptismal font as we begin with our call to worship. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We gather to worship the one who crafted creation out of chaos, who our cries of joy, joy join, join the, the anthems, anthems of, of the universe. universe. We gather to lift our praises to God who gives us voice. We, we bring, bring songs, songs which, which have echo in, in our hearts all week long. We gather as the children of God, our joy unbroken in God's love. Young, Young and old, tone deaf and perfect pitch, pitch, lift the new, new songs of faith. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the wellspring of grace, our Easter and our joy. Amen. Amen. Look, here's water. Here's our water of life. Hallelujah. Immersed in the promise of baptism, let us give thanks for what God has done for us. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your voice thundered over the deep, and water became the essence of life. Abraham, or Ab Adam and Eve beheld Eden's verdant waters. The ark carried your creation through the flood into a new day. Miriam led the dancing as your people passed through the sea into freedom's land. In a desert pool, the Ethiopian official entered your boundless baptismal life. Look, here's water. Here is our water of life. Alleluia. At the river, your beloved son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you opened the floodgates to your reconciling love freeing us to live as Easter people. We rejoice with glad hearts, giving all honor and praise to you through the risen Christ, our source of living water, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Look, here's water. Here's the water of life. Alleluia. you please join us in singing, I Come With Joy. Together, men. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Comfort and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. God, you have prepared for those who love you joys beyond understanding. Pour out into our hearts such love for you that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises which exceed all, of our, all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Please be seated as we hear our word for the day. A reading from the book of Acts. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people 
who have just received the Holy Spirit, just as we have. So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in reading responsibly by whole verse, Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord who has done marvelous things, whose right hand and holy arm have won the victory. You remember your steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell therein. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. A reading from the book of 1 John. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to John, the 15th chapter. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends. Because I have made known to you everything that I have learned from the, my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask 
of him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated and I'll invite any of the children to come up for a children's message. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you on the fun Sunday? It's fun day Sunday. No, it's not. Yeah, are you tired? Are you alive? Are you up? Are you awake? Yes, I love it. That's what it's all about. All right. So I'm excited about this season because our refrigerator starts to fill up with all these invitations. We get invitations for weddings and for graduations and more graduations. It's just a full time. And it's so fun to be invited to things to celebrate with our friends, right? So much so that we have a graduation of our own. In two weeks, our son's going to graduate from college, and we sent out our own invites to other people, right? Have you guys ever been invited to a party? Yeah? Were you, was it fun? It's fun to get, ex- to get invited, right? And once we have that fun, being part of something, it's like we want to invite others to be part of that too, right? Well, we learn about God's love here in this church, and part of that is being invited to the table. Now, who, who originated or who originally invited people to the table? Yeah. Jesus. Amen. Yes. And then the disciples are like, this is so awesome. We got to invite other people to this table. And that's, that's all you need, folks, right there. It's the excitement of being invited to this table, knowing that you belong, knowing that you are wanted to be there. No matter what, no matter how you feel, you are always invited to this table. And that makes us want to go out and invite more people, just as they are, to come to the table and experience that togetherness as well. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the invitation that you shed or that you share with us. We ask you to help it in our hearts to invite others to know God loves them as much as God can love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Please grab a piece of candy and remember to take one, an extra one to share with someone on the way back. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Grace, mercy, and peace from our Creator and our Savior and our Sustainer to you this morning. So I want to try an experiment. I'm going to say a slogan from some well-known companies, and I want to see if you can join in with that slogan or recognize the company. So so we're going to start out easy. Just do it. Nike. Nike, yes. Think different. This one threw me off too. Apple. You would think they would have something other than, anyway, okay. (laughs) Choosy moms, choose. Jeff, Jeff. there you go. Breakfast of champions. Wheaties. Amen. The few, the proud. When you care enough to send the very best. Palmer. Exactly. What happens here stays here. Las Vegas, yeah, yeah. I took your names down. Who knew that? When it absolutely, positively has to be here overnight. FedEx. Yep, yep. Um, oldie buddy goodie. It takes a licking but keeps on ticking. Timex. Fifteen minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Geico. There's a reason we know these slogans. Repetition. It works, right? We hear these ads and slogans over and over again. 
except for Apple, evidently, <laughs> until we immediately recognize them. I feel Jesus used the same tactics as he teaches the disciples and us how to love. Again, in our gospel from today, Jesus is reminding his disciples to abide in his love. It's this, the theme that we've had really the last six weeks of Easter. We've heard this subject of abiding in God's love over and over again. And last week in my sermon, I made the point that love is not optional. Since God's spirit dwells within us, we are called to love our siblings. Jesus said, abide in me as I abide in you. If Jesus had a slogan, I think that's what it was. We might want to pay attention to the effort, if not just the amount of times Jesus is stressing this instruction. This week we hear Jesus say, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. Jesus speaks this to his disciples the night of his betrayal. He is reinforcing the message again to the disciples that the most important thing for them to remember before he is taken to the cross is to love others as he has loved them. To love is to abide in Jesus and as he abides in God to love is to abide in Jesus as he abides in God, the creator. And this instruction, this invitation to love, puts the disciples on a journey of discovery. Discovery of what else? What else can the resurrection of Jesus and the gift of the Spirit make possible? As we look at our Acts reading, Peter is invited to Cornelius' home. Cornelius is an Italian centurion, a, centurion, um, a Roman, a, a Gentile. Peter begins to share the good news with Cornelius and his household and everyone who is in earshot. Peter is sharing the good news of Jesus going to the cross and being resurrected and how Jesus appears to them after resurrection and how Jesus instructed them to go and preach the good news to everyone. And that Jesus makes possible the forgiveness of sin and the promise of eternal life for everyone. That's where our Acts reading picks up. In Acts 10, 44, we hear, while Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word, all the Gentiles. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. Two things to point out in this brief reading, the work of the Holy Spirit and the reaction of the circumcised believers. First, the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out on everyone, even those Gentiles. Second, the circumcised believers were astounded. Now, the Greek word is translated here for astounded means to throw out of position or displace. But it can also mean to be out of one's mind, besides oneself, insane. The circumcised believers, a.k.a. Jewish followers, were displaced. They were beside themselves. They were insane by the fact that the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. We can imagine why this might upset the followers of Jesus. The Gentiles were the Romans. They were the oppressors, whether they knew it or not. Jesus' followers might have been thinking, you know, it's one thing for the Ethiopian to be baptized like we heard last week and welcomed by the Holy Spirit, but the Roman Gentiles too? And before we judge the Jewish followers too harshly, if you're anything like me, you might have experienced or have an experience when you questioned on whom the Holy Spirit falls. 
on whom God's love and grace falls upon. Even as we know God's grace falls on everyone, there are times when we ask God, really? Your grace is going to fall on those people too? That one person? I remember one of my mentors and pastors telling me that as soon as we draw a circle around who we believe is covered in God's grace, Jesus is there expanding that circle. Jesus calls us to love one another. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is the journey of discovery the disciples are on. The discovery of what else can the resurrection of Jesus and the gift of the Spirit make possible. Who else are we called to love as God loves and abides in us? How can we love so that joy of Jesus may be in us and our joy may be complete? Now, Peter is remembering these words as he's speaking to those Gentiles. He remembers the words of Jesus. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Abide in my love. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Because then Jesus... Then Peter lays down a little bit of himself to welcome these people in. And he even challenges those who are around him and says, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Spirit just as we have? And then they are baptized. It's a reminder to us all. Each of us are on a journey of discovery of what the resurrection of Jesus and the gift of of the Spirit might make possible, that everyone is part of God's kingdom and everyone belongs. So who are the Romans or the Gentiles of today? Who are the Romans or the Gentiles for you? Our news headlines are full of suggestions. Palestinians, Israelis, Russians, Ukrainians, conservatives, liberals, those crossing the southern border, those who live on the southern border, drug addicts, drug dealers, politicians, judges, minorities, majorities, brothers, sisters, in-laws, outlaws, different denominations, different religions. Who are those you have on the outside of the circle that Jesus is showing need to be included, that are included as the father has loved me so I have loved you abide in my love if you keep my commandments you will abide in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete The God of love is the foundation upon which our faith is based. Jesus reminds us to love one another repeatedly. Scripture reminds us to love our neighbor as ourselves time and time again. Because this love is the one thing that connects us to God and to one another. Jesus' words are not a slogan to manipulate us. Jesus' words are backed up with the promise of God's enduring promise of life, love, and reconciliation. Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote this, The world is overcome not through destruction, but through reconciliation. Not ideals, nor programs, nor conscience, nor duty, nor responsibility, nor virtue, But only God's perfect love can encounter reality and overcome it. We are invited into God's perfect love in the waters of baptism and in this sacred meal. 
We are invited to abide in Christ as Christ abides in us. And as we practice this invitation into God's perfect love, even when we are imperfect, Jesus' joy is in us. And our joy is made complete. Jesus keeps reminding us of what God's love is. To love one another is to show compassion to everyone and to learn about them and their story. To love one another is to make sure people are accepted, seen, and known as God knows them. To love one another is to provide access to proper health care. To love one another is to provide basic needs of food, shelter, and education. Loving one another is eliminating poverty. Loving one another is to end discrimination of all kinds. Loving one another is inclusion of the unseen or the forgotten. We are all invited, first by Jesus, then the disciples, and then one another. Let's keep reminding each other as Jesus reminds us, God's love is for the whole world. God loves all of us, and that means all of us. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Will you please stand as you are willing to join us in song, Now All the Vault of Heaven Resounds.
friends, let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe believe in God, God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator creator of heaven and earth, of all I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of good news. Your Holy Spirit falls upon all who hear the word. Fill your church with the gifts of your spirit and give understanding hearts to those who strengthen our commitments with our ecumenical and interreligious partners. We lift up synods of the ELCA as they gather in their assemblies that the spirit would enliven and guide them. God of grace. You speak and the face of the earth is renewed. Revive your creation that habitats and every kind of living thing might flourish. Protect endangered species and help us to care for all of your creatures. We pray for scientists, activists, and policy makers as they study, build momentum, and craft regulation to slow climate change. God of grace. Your world is divided. Grant wisdom and vision to world leaders. We pray for justice and peace among nations where war and violence rage, especially Palestine and Israel, Iran, Myanmar, Iraq, Haiti, Russia and Ukraine, and South Sudan. For a ceasefire in Gaza, for hostages to be freed, and for strength and persistence among all who are engaging in diplomacy. Strengthen international partnerships and cooperation. God of grace. Your children are in need. We pray for fair labor practices and economic justice for all workers. Bring compassion, safety, and productive discourse amidst campus protests. Comfort all those who suffer, the community of Charlotte, North Carolina, after the killing of three law enforcement officers and the shooting of five others, and any afflicted by anxiety, depression, and mental illness. Help us to be conduits of your love in our care of one another. We pray especially for Danny D., Zarema, Zara, and their family in Crimea, Zach, Lynn, Lawrence, Nathan and Haley, Jeanette, Sheila, Suzanne, Jean, Megan, and John. God of grace, grant your wisdom and clarity to all who are in seasons of discernment and transition, college and high school graduates preparing for first jobs or new educational journeys, those who are shifting careers, and those who are navigating changes in their relationships. Accompany them with your peace. God of grace. Your work is done in this place with our hands. Bless the ministries of this congregation that we may embody your love for the world. Inspire those who plan and lead worship, council members, committee members, and volunteers. God of grace. Your blessed saints now rest in you. Give us thankful hearts for those who have gone before us. At the last, bring us all together around your heavenly banquet table. God of grace. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. Amen. Amen.
congregation may be seated. We're going to invite the graduates up. It's a special time of year. <laughs> right? Uh, it's a, another invitation that you all receive with the graduation, invitation to life and exploration and fun and new experiences. Yes, and that's why we pray for you and bless you today, okay? So let us join together as we, we um, bless and pray. This life is made up of so many beginnings and so many endings. We start new opportunities and leave old ones. We become new people slowly and assuredly. Friends and relationships come and go. Blessed are we standing in the hallway between closed doors and ones still to come, between the old and the new, between the worn in and comfortable and the doesn't quite fit yet uncertainty, between who we were and who we might become. Blessed are we as we pause to look over our shoulders and marvel at all we have learned from what was, at the people we became, the people who loved us into our becoming, and the peace of familiarity. Blessed are we as we trust this timing that sends us forth, where our hearts will open anew to change, new friends, and hope, even when we are full of nerves and aren't sure where we are going. A reading from Isaiah. Thus says the Lord who created you, who formed you, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, you will, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. At this time, if you are sitting in the assembly and would like to extend your hands out, us in proximity are going to place hands on our graduates as we pray and bless them. So let Sorry. us surround. God, bless Abigail and Joel as they take the next steps. And more courage to take the steps after that one. Remind them that you have gone before and behind and around and are here now. Oh God, you formed us and you have known us since before our own beginning. We know that every occupation has its own honor before you. And that we see and that what we see as ordinary is its own divine calling from you. Help Abigail and Joel take the next steps into a world that desperately needs their compassion, diligence, and care, and inspire them to live out their vocation as your called and beloved children, showing your love and grace to all whose paths intersect theirs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. Yay! Joel, we have a gift for you as well as you venture off, and you, you've been in the adulting world a little bit, so your gifts are a little less bulky, but <laughs> still as meaningful. <laughs> La paz de Cristo con ustedes siempre. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let us share a sign of peace with one another and especially with our new graduates. Peace be, with, be you. with you. Congratulations. Peace be with, Peace you. Be with you. Congratulations. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Yeah. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, Joel. Peace be with all those who are on Join Online.
and you may be seated when you are so not pieced out, but pieced <laughs> enough. Pieced enough. We are grateful for this time in our service to say thank you for the ways that you continue to show up and support the ministries here at our Savior Lutheran Church and Purdue Lutheran Ministry, our campus ministry. It is with your gifts of time and talent and treasure that we can serve one another and seek the best ways to serve the community, abiding in love always, always. As we prepare for our communion time, all are invited and all have a place at this table. We have bread, we have gluten-free wafers, we have wine and juice. If you are worshiping with us online, now is a great time to gather what you have around with you. As we, uh, we will commune the assistants first and then those who commune in the pews or at home and then everybody else is welcome to come forward. We ask that you come with your hands open. If you wish to only receive a blessing, please put your hands on your heart so that we know to do that. Um, but again, everyone is welcome. There is space for everybody here. With that, I invite you to stand one more time as we pray for our gifts. Risen One, you call us to believe and bear fruit. May the gifts that we offer here be signs of your abiding love. Form us to be your witnesses in the world through Jesus Christ, our true vine. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death, and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Oh. of the universe, your mercy is everlasting, your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks. He gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Come, Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread and raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us and send us forth burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit. 
with all your holy one with your holy ones of all times and places with the earth and all its creatures with sun and moon and stars we praise you O god blessed and holy trinity now and forever amen amen amen, amen. gathered into one by the holy spirit let us pray as jesus taught us our father amen. in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the times of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This table set by Jesus is open to all, and in resurrection Christ is present in this simple food and festive drink. Where Jesus welcomes friends and strangers to this feast, where the grace of God's love and goodness meet us wherever we are. Here we are welcomed, affirmed, and celebrated with the gifts of God for us, the people of God. Beloved, let us taste and trust in the goodness of God. The assembly may be seated, and I invite the assistants back first. The body of Christ given for you the body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. I believe. The blood of Christ shed for you. This is the body of Christ broken for you. Amen. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Thanks be to God. For those commuting in the pews and at home, the body of Christ given for you. And the blood of Christ shed for you.
invite you to please stand as you so desire. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the gifts of his body and blood strengthen, keep, and unite us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Shepherding God, you have prepared a table before us and nourished us with your love. Send us forth from this banquet to proclaim your goodness and share the abundant mercy of Jesus, our Redeemer and friend. Amen. Amen. With radical, astounding insanity, you are invited to abide and receive the love of God in Christ Jesus and to share it and with boldness and freedom for all, with all. We join in singing our sending hymn, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Peace, rejoice, and be glad. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. This concludes our worship. Um, if you are in the sanctuary, please have a seat for some announcements. If you've been worshiping with us, with us online on Facebook, thank you for being with us, and we hope to have you with us again next week.